chapter 3, we start off with Luffy saying, Monster, huh? And Kobe says, Yeah, Luffy's son, Roranoa Zoro is also known as the Pirate Hunter. He's a scary person. Rumor says he's like a bloodthirsty hound. He wanders around the sea and hunts down fugitives. He's a monster in the form of a man. And Luffy just almost dismissively says, Oh yeah, okay. I added in that, okay. Kobe says, so let's drop the idea of recruiting him. And, and Luffy responds, I haven't made up my mind about recruiting him yet, but if he's a good person, Kobe said, he's arrested because he's bad. And then we get to the title page. This is chapter three, introducing pirate hunter Zoro. We cut to them having arrived at the island which is the island with the marine base. And Luffy says, we're finally at the marine's base. And Kobe says, yep, finally. Luffy says, you're great, Kobe. And Kobe just goes, huh? And Luffy says, we've actually reached our destination. Kobe says, of course, that's the basics of navigation. If you wander around at sea every time, you'll never become a pirate. You should at least find a navigator to join you. He's kind of incredulous. Luffy says, all right, let's go eat. Kind of just ignoring everything Kobe was saying. We cut to them at a restaurant. Luffy says, we'll go our separate ways here. You do your best to be a great Marine, all right? And Kobe says, I will. Thank you so much. luffy son. you have to become a great pirate too. Although we'll be enemies in the future. Luffy says, say, I wonder if Zoro is still being kept at the Marine's base. And everybody else in the restaurant falls out of their seats. They're completely shocked and scared. Kobe says, whispering to Luffy, looks like we can't just yell out the name, Zoro. And Luffy just says, mm. And Kobe says, I just saw a notice on the streets. There's someone called Captain Morgan at this base. And everyone at the restaurant freaks out again and, and falls out of their seats. Cut to them leaving the restaurant and Luffy's just laughing. <laughs> what an interesting restaurant. I gotta go there again. Kobe says, that's strange. I have a bad feeling about this. I could understand why they'd be scared after hearing Roronoa Zoro's name, since he could escape at any time. But why would they be afraid of a marine captain's name too? And Luffy casually says, well, he could have done something bad, right? And Kobe says, that's impossible. And Luffy says, I'm serious. Narrator says, Marine's base. As we arrive at the Marine's base, Luffy says, it looks pretty ugly up close. Go ahead, Kobe. Kobe says, but, but I'm not prepared yet. Besides, that incident at the restaurant got me thinking. And then Luffy starts climbing over the wall, and Kobe says, ah, Luffy-san. Luffy says, Monster, I wonder where he is. Kobe says, you can't find him that easily. He's probably being kept in a secret room or something. And Luffy says, no, I saw something over there. It could be Zoro. Kobe's a little shocked. He just says, eh. We get our first glimpse of Roronoa Zoro, a nice little side profile. They're looking at him from over the wall, and Luffy says, Look at that person. Kobe falls back. What's wrong? And then it, it's Kobe, he says, as he's shaking on the ground. That, that, that black bandana and cloth around his waist. It's, it's him. It, it's Ronoa Zoro. And that intimidating aura. It's, it's Zoro. We get a nice big panel showing Zoro tied to a kind of makeshift cross of sorts. Not like in the biblical way, more like in just kind of like a, a, what are those things called that um, be medieval people were put in? Let's see, medieval prisoner. What in the thing? Apparently, it's called a pillory, or uh, no, a stockade. Maybe it's called a stockade. No, not a stockade. Yeah. 
sorry, I got a little distracted there, but yeah, it's, it's more akin to a pillory, except that he's not actually, like, through any holes, he's just kind of tied to it. And Luffy says, so he's Zoro, huh? Looks to me those ropes are pretty easy to break. Kobe says, stop joking, if you free him, he could make a mess in the town and even kill you. Zoro wakes up and says, hey, you. And the two, two boys are shocked. They say, huh? Ah. Zoro says, could you please come over here and untie me? I've been tied up for nine days and I'm exhausted. Luffy says, look, he's smiling. And Kobe says, he, he talked. Zoro says, I'll repay you. I could hunt down a fugitive and give you the rewards. I'm not lying. I'll keep my word. Kobe says, no, don't do it, Luffy-san. Don't be tricked by his words. If you free him, he'll kill us and escape. Luffy, a matter of factly, says, he can't kill me. Because I'm strong, too. Zoro says, uh. And Kobe just thinks to himself, he's really hopeless. Luffy and Kobe are shocked as a little girl appears next to them on the wall. She's smart and brought a ladder. Kobe yells out to her, don't do it, it's dangerous. But she doesn't listen. She hops right over the wall and, and runs over to Zoro. Zoro says, hey, what are you doing here? Kobe says, Luffy-san, go stop her. She could be killed. And Luffy says, do it yourself. Zoro says, do you want to die or something? Get lost. And the little girl says, ah, oh, brother, I made you some, I made some rice balls for you. You haven't eaten anything for a long time, right? This is the first time I made rice balls. And uh, Zoro just goes, I'm not hungry. Go away. The little girl goes, but, and Zoro's yelling at her, I don't want it. Leave me. If I'll kill you if you don't go. Just at that moment, we see a new person arrive. The narrator says it's son of the marine captain, Helmeppo. Helmeppo says, Roranoa Zoro, don't pick on little kids, or else I'll have to report to my father about it. Luffy says, some weirdo came. Kobe says, he must be someone important in the marines. Thank goodness the girl is safe now. As if Zoro could hurt her while tied up. Kobe's very scared. Zoro says, shh. If it isn't the captain's bastard son. Hamebo says, Bastard, don't get cocky. My dad is a marine lieutenant. I suppose that's a lieutenant for British people. <laughs> uh, and so Hamebo takes one of the little girl's rice balls and says, Well, hello, little girl. These rice balls look pretty tasty. The little girl says, Ah, stop it. And my boss spits it out. Bleh. Horrible. You put too much sugar in it. You're supposed to put salt in these things. And she just innocently says, But but I thought they'd taste better if they were sweet. And Amebo stomps her rice balls into the ground and says, How could somebody eat something like this, damn it? And and the little girl is just yelling, just crying out, Ah, stop it, stop. He can't eat this anymore. Kobe says, that, that's so cruel. That girl worked so hard to make them. Now Meppo says, don't worry. The ants will eat them all up. <laughs> the poor girl is crying now. That's so cruel. I, I, I tried really hard to make them. And Meppo says, oh, don't cry. It's no wonder why I hate little brats so much. It's all your fault, you know. Didn't you see what was written here? Anyone who helps a prisoner will be charged with the same crime. Marine Captain Morgan. You know how scary my dad can be, right? You would have gotten the death penalty if you're a grown-up. Oi, throw this brat out. The Marine next to him says, huh? Helmepo says, I'm telling you to throw her out of here. Are you trying to disobey me? I'm telling my dad. The Marine says, I, I, I sir. And he throws the little girl over the wall. Luffy catches her. Kobe asks her, Are you alright? Those bastards. Luffy does not look happy. Now Meppo says, I didn't think you'd have this kind of endurance. I'm gonna keep you alive for one whole month. 
Zoro just replies, you better keep your promise. Helmetbo says, he he he, oh I'll keep my promise. If you can live like this for one whole month, I'll keep my word and release you. Good luck. Now Luffy is, is inside the walls and standing in front of Zoro. Zoro says, you still haven't left yet. Leave now or else he'll go tell his dad about it. Luffy just says, oh yeah. I'm looking for someone to join my pirate fleet. Or my pirate crew. Zoro says, pirate? Heh, <laughs> so you just gave up on life and became a crook, huh? Luffy says, it's my dream. There's nothing wrong with being a pirate. Zoro says, huh? Don't tell me you're gonna set me free and force me to join you. And Luffy says, I haven't made up my mind yet, since everyone thinks you're a bad guy. Zoro says, a bad guy, huh? I'll never join you, because I have something that I need to take care of. I could survive even if you don't help me. If I can survive for a month, I'll be set free. That idiot son made a promise. I'm gonna do everything I can to stay alive and fulfill my dreams. Luffy says, Really? If I were you, I think I'd starve to death in a week. And Zoro says, That's why we're different. Go find someone else to join you. As Luffy starts to walk away, he says, Hey, hold on. And Luffy says, Huh? Zoro says, That, can you pick it up for me? And Luffy says, You want to eat this? But the rice ball is all muddy. Well, I guess you can't be picky about food when you're hungry. And Zoro says, Shut up. Just give it to me. Let me eat all of it. Luffy throws that disgusting, muddy rice ball into his mouth and Zoro eats it. Luffy says, Do you want to kill yourself? Zoro says, Cough. Oh, well, he doesn't say cough, he coughs. <laughs> and he says, Tell that little girl. And Luffy says, Tell her what? And Zoro says, The rice balls taste very good. Thank you very much. And Luffy just laughs. <laughs> and he goes to tell the girl. And she says, Really? He says, Yep, he ate all of it. And she says, I'm so happy. Kobe says, Huh? Is he really that horrible of a person? As his reputation says he is. And the little girl says, No, he isn't. He didn't do anything wrong. It's just that the people in this town are afraid of him. He got arrested because of me. He killed Helmeppo's pet wolf because Helmeppo let his wolf run around and everyone got scared. Luffy says, so you're saying that Zoro's only arrested because he killed Helmeppo's wolf? And the little girl says, yeah. Kobe says, you're right. So maybe he has a bad temper, but chasing down fugitives isn't that big a crime either. I mean, technically it's not a crime at all. That's why they put bounties on people's heads, is it not? <laughs> that's, that's my own personal uh, opinion, but regardless, the little girl says, the only bad guys are the Morgans. You'll get executed if you disobey them, so everyone is afraid of them. Now Meppo can be heard coming from the background. He says, hey, hey, hey. who dares raise his head? I'll tell my dad. Do you want to be like Roronoa Zoro? I'm going to publicly execute him in three days. I'll use him to set an example for all of you. It's going to be pretty interesting. Luffy says, three days. Didn't you say you'll give him a month? El Meppo says, who are you? How rude. I was only joking with him. Only an idiot would believe that. Luffy's immediately enraged and punches El Meppo right in the face. Kobe tries to hold him back. Luffy's son, stop, please, calm down. And Luffy says, you bastard. El Meppo says, you want to mess with the Marines or something? Or maybe that was Kobe. But, uh, and then Luffy says, Kobe, I've decided. I'm gonna ask Zoro to join me. So, that was chapter three of One Piece. Uh, we just met Roronoa Zoro, who, uh, I will say is my favorite character in the story. Um, I hope you enjoyed that chapter. Uh, I hope you enjoy this series. I'm gonna keep making these videos. Um, and please leave, feel free to leave any feedback or any sort of comments you might have in the comment section. I hope you enjoy. I hope you're feeling relaxed. I hope you're enjoying the story, and I hope you 
you sleep well tonight, and thank you so much for watching. Until next video, ching.